When you think about it, long before there were subdivisions and strip malls in your area, the original natural vegetation provided continuous protection and food sources for all animals, including pollinators. Beyond decreasing our use of harmful chemicals on the land and protecting natural land from development, the most important thing we can give our native pollinators is the native wildflowers they depend upon for survival. There are many different types of plants you can plant in your garden. Uh, the number one characteristic is they have to have nectar in them. And uh, some, some good ones are uh, tropical sage, salvia coccinea, uh, beautiful wildflower uh, and it grows well in gardens. And another great one is pickerel weed. This is a plant that grows in wetlands. So if you have a wet garden, a wet ditch, uh, pond margin, uh, this would be a beautiful native wildflower to plant that would be very attractive to various kinds of, of native butterflies. Like birds and other wildlife, butterflies, moths, and pollinators in general are fun to watch. They bring a joy to our lives that nothing can replace. Insects and plants, these are our, our treasures that we have here and we live with every day. And that's what we're hoping to maintain through time is, is all the species we have, including the pollinators like butterflies and moths. Bringing diversity to your yard can be easily achieved by planting native plants that have flowers with pollen and nectar. By becoming familiar with native plants, finding a native plant nursery in your area, and experimenting with natives in your yard, your wonders will never cease. I've been doing it in my yard and I love my yard now more than ever. Hi and welcome to my home in Orlando, Florida. We have a lot of pollinators in our yard because our yard is bug friendly. Number one, because we have a lot of native pollinator plants and number two, because we use very little pesticides and herbicides. Come on, I'll show you around. Here's a wonderful native pollinator plant called the Spanish needle. This plant has white petals on its flowers in a yellow center, and it is very attractive to butterflies and all kinds of pollinator insects. A lot of people think of this plant as a weed, but to butterflies, it's the most attractive plant in the entire neighborhood. I've seen the great southern white out here, the monarch butterfly loves it, the white peacock. It's a wonderful plant for pollinators called the Spanish needle. Here's a beautiful blue native pollinator plant called the blue curls. They call it the blue curls because these beautiful blue purple flowers have curly cues on them that make them very original. This plant blooms in late summer and when it blooms, it blooms. This thing has blue flowers all over it that the pollinators just love, particularly bees. And you'll see the little bees sticking their heads deep down to get the pollen and the nectar. And it's called the blue curls. This vine growing on the ground here is another native pollinator plant called the passion flower. This is the host plant to three of the butterflies we have in Florida, the Gulf Littleary, the Julia, and the Zebra Longwing. What happens is the butterflies seek out this plant and lay their eggs on it. The eggs turn into caterpillars and the caterpillars turn into butterflies. So. We need this plant in our gardens in order to have populations of these butterflies. When this flower blooms, it blooms a beautiful purple flower that looks like something from outer space. It's so cool looking. But when I look out our window, I see the zebra long wings just hovering around this plant all day long, laying their eggs. So it's an excellent native pollinator plant called the passion flower. This native plant in our wildflower garden is called the sensitive mimosa and every day it makes beautiful puffball flowers that are pink that the bees just love, particularly the honeybee. And you'll see this honeybee right here. He is buzzing up and down the flower, just collecting pollen like you would not believe. So this honeybee just loves the sensitive mimosa. 